Hey guys, it's Gavin, the Transformation Guru here on my YouTube channel and I am wearing the Punisher t-shirt, my favourite character from the Marvel Universe and uh, yeah, I love the, the Netflix series by the way. Uh, Frank Castle, uh, it's just cool. So in this video, I'm going to be very short, blunt, straight to the point. Uh, I'm trying not to waffle uh, in my videos, just bring you the facts, the hard truths and get to the point. If anyone's interested in online personal training, by the way, feel free to email me. The, there's the uh, email address below in this video. Um, I'll also include my website as well. I have been doing multiple physique competitions over the years and multiple photo shoots. I've been a professional paid model um, in the past and I know what it's like to be as bulky as almost 19 stone, but I was muscular and fat at the start of the year, but I also know it's like to be 13 and a half stone stage rip shredded and I'm competing next week with the MPC at the Arnold um, Fitness Expo at the NEC in Birmingham, UK, where I'm also exhibiting my brand, the Gym Being brand, with our gym equipment, clothing and accessories, etc. It's been a tough year, uh, it's been a tough couple of years in fact, um, lost a number of people from suicide, the likes of um, cancer and heart disease. I also uh, found myself at the start of last year uh, losing in excess of a quarter of a million pounds worth of business from lockdowns and then having to reinvent myself into selling gym equipment which uh, is something that has always been a very small side hustle of mine which effectively became my full-time work for over a year and managed to pull things out and do over a million pounds in gym equipment so it was Pretty cool, um, pretty chaotic. Still selling gym equipment underneath the gym being brand now, underneath that banner. And again, we'll be showcasing that next week at the Arnold, which is exciting. But um, I'm just going to highlight in this video the importance of uh, fat loss, um, the issues that we've got with obesity trends today, why fat loss I find is easy, but also why fat loss for many is hard to maintain, i.e. keep it off. So for me at the start of the year, biggest, broadest I was ever, I've ever been. I put it down to excessive stress, to going through, uh, opening my second shop within 18 months, having to close it down again uh, because of two lockdowns. Uh, also having to facilitate the needs of thousands of people with gym equipment working 120 hours a week during the winter period. It's a tough period. I'm not gonna lie, like winter just gone, um, it was pretty harsh. And uh, trying to move tens of thousands of kilos of gym equipment and plates um, every week, by the week, across the country, in all weathers, including the snow, it was no easy task. So I would work from like six in the morning to 11, 12 at night, sometimes, I remember the start of the year in January, I went four days without going to bed just to facilitate so many people and that just took its toll on me. I remember getting to the end of March after working at least 90 days solid. Um, bearing in mind, I went through the lockdowns throughout all last year, opening a shop in October, November to then close it with another lockdown, opening the shop in December to then have another lockdown in January. It was just like a yo-yo effect. It was just mental. And I just, I remember just focus on work and probably weight training a couple of times a week because that's all I could physically manage because I, if you've ever packed 20 kilos into a box and you've bound it and you've done that a thousand times in a week, then you, you're, I'm more than happy for you to say, yeah, I can relate. But most people will not ever relate with that amount of stress. My body was knackered. I was physically exhausted all the time. Yeah, I was putting body weight on because I was stressed. My cortisol levels were through the roof. I was eating too much crap. And I was pretty much surviving on delivery apps and uh, I was drinking too much alcohol. Um, so I went back to bad habits. And that's the thing for most people. We, we live in Western culture where it's easy to order junk food via an app. It's easy to uh, over consume on entertainment and just basically become lazy and a lot of people in society now are full of excuses and 
are very quick to complain about um, putting weight on and just don't do anything about it. So my next book is actually called um, Self Responsibility. I'll be talking about that soon in future videos. Uh, again, the biggest issue for most people is not, it, it, we blame external factors. So blame lockdowns, blame uh, the government, blame society, blame uh, this, that and the other. But we don't blame ourselves. I personally looked at myself in the mirror and thought, Gav, you look a mess uh, in March. And a lot of people happily pointed out that I had a bit of a, a belly on me, which is fine, which is cool. I'm, I'm all right with that. Um, so I did something about it. And ironically, with this pandemic, with it being a health pandemic of that, I would have thought that most people would be throwing themselves at the gym and exercise and boot camps and do more adventure stuff. Um, but no, most people straight after the lockdowns were throwing themselves at bars, pubs, clubs, and yeah, just eating and drinking to excess, which is fine, which is cool. But we as a culture can't now go around blaming the government or blaming um, other people or society for putting all this weight on. We just need to look at ourselves in the mirror sometimes and think, yeah, I need to do something about it. So sometimes I, I advise people to go back to basics when they when they really want to lose weight and I try and break it down into phases and this is exactly what I did myself this year and this is why I found fat loss quite easy I just went to basics and when I say basics I just literally walked loads I was doing like 15 20,000 steps a day every single day to get myself down on my fat weight but I also addressed the nutrition side of things I set myself a simple rule to wean myself off sugar I just I went calorie free I basically drop my calories by eating more cleaner foods cooking more less delivery app usage uh, to the point where it became a once a week treat then once a fortnight and then I cut, and I cut alcohol out so I went from over indulging on calories to cutting calories and burning more calories so rather than over consuming by a thousand or two thousand calories than what my body needed I actually went into a calorific deficit on my nutrition, but also over exceeded the physical output that I was used to doing as well, if that makes sense. So rather than over consuming and having an inactivity level and I'd say 1500, 2000 calories a day, which would lead me to get easily gaining several pounds a week. I went down to losing several pounds a week and it was just by taking some self responsibility, being healthier consistently, being more active, and um, eating less than my body required, moving more than I was doing previously. So I losing the weight. And then I started doing more kickboxing, going back into martial arts. And then I went into doing more weight training circuits. And then I got fitter and I lost even more weight. So I went to hit. Now I do adventures, I'm doing adventure sports and I'm doing more long hike, hikes and doing a whole host of things. So I'm the fittest I've ever been, if I'm honest, strongest I've ever been, and um, I'm the most active as well at that. But I'm also on a harsh cut, and is what I'm doing massively sustainable? Not really. So after the comp, I'm going to be going into doing more sport. I'm going to be doing my MMA. I'm going to do the likes of more hiking and adventure sports. I'm going to stick with the gym daily as a routine. And I'll tweak my nutrition accordingly as well. Um, but again, for me, fat loss is easy because I broke it down into phases. I did the initial phase of walking and just clean eating. I then broke it down into a second phase of getting a bit more hardcore in my training because my body was allowed to because I dropped more weight. It's very hard to do impact sports. And I cringe when I see people overweight running because I just think not just for the short term benefit, I think the long term pain is that the joint, it, there's going to be so many joint issues for so many people. It's it's crazy on how many people neglect their joints by just putting a pair of trainers on. It's like, oh yeah, I've been sedentary for years. I've always weighed up. You know what, I'm going to go and pound the ground <laughs> outside and start doing loads of running. Which is great on one hand, but please don't complain in 10 years time that you need a knee and hip replacement because you were excessively running when you should have been walking. And that's why I walk loads, because I have knee issues. And that stems from childhood running. I used to do cross country, county athletics, national athletics, and excessive amounts of sport. 
So, in a nutshell, Western culture, we're becoming lazier, more sedentary, we overconsume on entertainment, Netflix, Amazon, social media, Facebook, and you name it, doing stupid TikTok videos. We don't walk as much, uh, we don't get outdoors as much. Most people nowadays don't use their kitchen effectively or don't even know how to cook properly. And you look, from, you look at it from a total holistic approach, you look at all these issues in society now, it's a no surprise why obesity trends are just doing this. And since the 1980s, since the introduction of corn syrup and like cereals, um, the waistline's been doing this and this, and it's getting much worse. And I find one major issue in today's culture, which is making weight loss, so uh, weight gain more of an issue is be it's becoming more of the norm and accepted. It's in fact becoming um, a taboo subject. You can't go around pointing at people. And I I'm glad that I'm a PT and people will think, oh, Gav, you, you put a bit of fat weight on. Okay, noted. Oh, Gav, probably your stomach. Now I, now I get people prodding my arms rather than my stomach, which is a great feeling. Um, but I got fat shamed into losing the fat weight again, which is great. But we, but most people don't get that nowadays. Um, I do firmly believe that most people need to take some self responsibility. They, most people need to look at themselves in the mirror and think, "Am I the healthiest, fittest version of myself?" And I, I do firmly believe that uh, there are much bigger issues in society than this pandemic. I'm not sorry to say this, more people a year die from cancer and other diseases and obesity than and heart disease, which is very closely linked link to, to obesity. Um, there's so many health issues. And, and this is, I'm not making this up, this is in health journals, scientific journals and I'm getting a little bit bored of the, the new mainstream narrative that it's acceptable to love yourself the way you are, which is fine. But if you are excessively obese, if you are morbidly obese at that, and you cannot be bothered to do something about it, I'm not sorry to say that you've got yourself to blame. It's a harsh truth. Someone has to point it out, but it just, it does wind me up as a trainer today to see so many people just blaming external issues, oh, society, oh, the government, all oh, this, it's like, no, well, no. If you, if you are overly consuming more calories than your body needs, you're not doing any physical activity, and you're over consuming on entertainment, and you're being lazy, that's your problem. That's for you to sort out. So, as a trainer today, I'm very direct and very blunt, I get straight to the point. I'm not the sort of trainer who's going to tell you to do what the freaking hell you want to do. I will tell you what you need to do to get the results what, that you want. Uh, I've, I've worked, I work really well with people who are business types and they're serious about getting goals. Um, I work really well with professional athletes as well. Uh, being direct and blunt is the best approach I find. I find that a lot of people in society want to be told what they want to hear, but in reality they need to be told what they need to hear. So I try and say I try and say it in a nice manner. I try to be as friendly as possible, but I just I, I can I can cut out the ball. So if someone's saying to me, oh, "I'm really struggling to lose weight," and I analyse their lifestyle and they're over-consuming, excessive calories, binge eating, binge drinking, not moving enough, not burning any calories, and basically being lazy, I have to point that out because I'm not doing my job properly if I'm telling you what you want to hear. And I find that's the biggest issue with most personal trainers today is that they will just tell their clients what they need to hear. Um, and sometimes I sound like a broken record and then one day the penny drops and guess what? The client loses weight. I've had clients who've, I'll give you an example. I've got a guy recently who hit a massive plateau with previous trainers and weight loss club and I only did one session with him. He dropped five pounds in a week. I've got a client who's dropped two and a half stone in five weeks. Why? Because I've just made some alter basic alterations to their life and just got them to take some self-responsibility. So 
Personally with clients, I will go through hydration, pH levels. In some cases, I'll talk about hormones, um, the likes of ghrelin, cortisol, stress hormone. I will go as far as doing DNA with some clients. I will go through weight training strategies, cardio strategies, ways to de-stress the body, supplementation, the lot. And basically I work on a holistic approach with clients now because I feel it's important. It's all well and good touching nutrition, but if that individual in question isn't walking, moving enough and doing regular gym activity, the results are only gonna go so far. Equally, if I go through nutrition and get the training right, but this person in question is excessively drinking and is stressed out to the max, these issues need to be resolved. So again, I look at the whole approach of clients. And sometimes a client will look at me and say, look, I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm, 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 I'm doing X, Y, and Z, and I'm hitting a brick, brick wall. And then suddenly I get that person to use a sauna once or twice a week, go to yoga, de-stress, get more sleep, boom, cortisol levels relaxed. The individual in question loses weight. Why is that? Because they're not stressed all the time. And also in some cases I'll address the digestive system because that will be stressed also in many cases. And drinking plenty of water also helps. So I'm ranting on a little bit. Again, I look at a total approach with clients and that's why I get results. And that's why I've helped tens of thousands of people, done tens of thousands of hours of personal training, I am going to be more active on my YouTube. I am going to be more active on social media. Um, I will be talking more about fat loss and ways to lose it, but more importantly, ways to keep it off. I will be looking at inspiring you all with a bit more than just uh, weight loss journeys and fat loss talks. Um, I am going to include on my channel here, sport interviews, nutrition recipes, um adventures travel a whole host of things that i've got an interest in so if you do find me interesting feel free to give my video a thumb thumbs up and also give my channel a subscribe as well and uh yeah there you go i i cover a lot of um subjects that interest me nowadays and um i like to think a bit differently and again that's why like as an example of weight loss journeys and helping clients, I look at things from a total holistic approach. Um, I've, I've helped a lot of people from all sorts of walks of life and all sorts of circumstances. And uh, quite often not, it's getting that client to, the moment I get someone to take self-responsibility and they, they accept that they are responsible for their health and their results, bang, that, that's usually, 99% of the time is the catalyst to, to change. So there we go. If you're interested in one-to-one -one personal training, I am based at my own transformation gym in Redditch in the UK, but obviously you're probably watching from any point in the world. So I do online personal training and coaching. I will cover your nutrition in detail. I will cover the likes of your workouts, your lifestyle, your supplementation. I am very direct. I am straight to the point, but I get results as a result of being direct and blunt. So if you're interested in that, uh, my email address is in in the uh, the video below, in the video description. Um, my email is gtptltd at gmail.com. Again, that's golf tango, papa tango, lima tango, delta at gmail.com. Or feel free to check me out on gavintownsend.com. Um, that's my website. And uh, yeah, like I say, I'm not the nicey nice sort of trainer who's gonna tell you what you want to hear. I will just tell you straight and I will help you as much as I can. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Have a great day.